Yo, what is up my wastelanders and welcome back to Orange Faceplate Communist Gaming. Today, I have some great games for you. I had recently found these hush puppies in the trash, so let's take a look. We are playing Automatron. If you don't know what this game is, it's a run around and shoot them. So, it's kind of like a bullet hell. But, I, for what I know, uh, this game doesn't really have an ending. I want to see how far I can get into it. My highest score was somewhere in like the 20s with the, with the waves. But, yeah. Let's see how far we actually get through this. These, these first rounds are actually pretty standard. You just have these two handies that follow you around and, you know, try to run into and kill them. Try to make sure that you kill them. And you see that there's these people here that you actually can't kill. You're gonna collect them so you get points. There's also mines that you wanna make sure that you don't shoot, or you do shoot, but you don't shoot if you get if you're too close to So this is basically the whole game, but uh we're gonna see how far I can get through. These guys, the sentry bots. They can't be killed by normal gunfire. If you want to kill them, you have to have them walk towards a landmine, and then you uh, shoot the landmine, and the landmine will blow up and kill them. I'm sorry, it's very hard for me to talk when I'm trying to focus. We actually got a lot of mines farms there that time. Okay, so as you just saw, two of the humans that were running around died. Wow, uh, one of them died to a century. Okay, thank god they didn't die to that mine. As you can see, it gets way more claustrophobic as the rounds progress. And now we have assault trons who will actually start shooting stuff at us. See how she's shooting stuff? So after so many uh, humans that you grab, you get uh, another life. That was not a power up in the game, that was my own legendary power. Oh my god, you suck. Whoa! Damn. <laughs> there's too much stuff. Oh, yeah, there's Robo Brains now. Um, I'm gonna let that Robo Brain up there in the air so that you guys can see what he does. He shoots, uh, he shoots a slow moving, uh, ball that will slowly actually, like, it'll, it'll slowly home in on you. So the Assault Trons, they'll fire fast moving bullets that. You can shoot and you can dodge. You have uh, little things, they fire smaller, or actually bigger, more slower balls that will follow you until they're destroyed. I didn't know if they could be destroyed or not, so that's all I had to see. Luckily, we spawned on a weird. Save these guys. Oh, there's an iBot on the screen too. So the uh, iBots, they run around and they will spawn in the assault trains. Making the game everlasting if you don't have a kill them. Very important that you kill those iBots if you ever see them. Oh my god. I'm trying to save as many people as I can to get as many hearts. Oh, I ran right into a sentry bot. 
Damn! No, come on. Holy shit. I need lives. Stop. Holy shit. Oh my god. Ugh, is there anyone else left? There's no one else left. It's always so hard to kind of tell who's on the team. Like, who's a human or not. Like something you have to see. Fuck you! Damn. Okay. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Unfortunately, I got cornered directly by the search run. Damn! What the fuck? I'm gonna have to kick it into high gear now. Oh my god, that's game over. <laughs> I thought I had gotten a life there with those three. If I had probably gotten another guy, I would have gotten another life there. That was wave 14, that was pretty good. He did pretty good for things considered there so here's the actual points and that's as far as i know that's the only enemies that ever spawn in the game all right let's just try to see if we can get back up to where we go now I wasn't looking where I was going. I was trying to look for more survivors. Oh, I got myself the mine! It's like as soon as your focus goes down, you start taking lives like fucking no one's business. I was not a dude I could grab. <laughs> Fucking god. I'm kind of just more panicking than I am trying to concentrate at this point. Oh, 
dude, I don't know how I lived that long. That was awesome. Fuck! Still there. Fuck! Fuck! Oh, dude, there were so many people I could still save. Kill that I bought. Damn. Oh, I ran into a missile from there. Fuck, dude, like, sharpshooter aim just accidentally killed the fucking eyeball player. Fuck. 
What? <laughs> Fucking God. Okay. Guys, there's an ending. Wave 26, it loops. Well, now that we see that wave 26 is where the game has an end, I'd like to thank you all for watching me as I played Automatron for you all. And uh, if you like the video, well, please leave a like. To Okay, so this is Red Menace. It's kind of like a Donkey Kong clone, but it's a little different. It has three stages. Once you beat three stages, you win the game. You can actually use the D-pad for this game too, which is what I use. Now, actually, you see the power armor thing and might think that Oh, hey, power armor. It must be a level up or like a perk. No, I actually think power armor is a hindrance in this game. Because you get power armor and you can, you can not, you can't even tank a hit. Like, I try getting a hit by a barrel and I absolutely get fucking annihilated by a barrel if I have power armor on. I just need to wait. Actually, we can't wait. I forgot. Alright, now we need to wait. We want to make sure we're not too tall. And we've done it! I, this, dude, last time I've played this game, like, level 2 was the most difficult shit in the world. Okay, so this, this one's pretty easy. Now I bet you the power armor probably does help you here on this one. We'll take it. It doesn't. I mean, you can tank a hit with it, but... You can't walk past him! I forgot. Okay. So here's how you do this one. Tank this. Tank this. Try grabbing these. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna run over here. We're gonna grab this. And we've done it. And we've actually won the game. This <laughs> is like that was the most easiest shit in the world. See how it loops? It, it's just these three levels again. But like the main reason why I don't like power armor is because you can't even jump in it. Like, the game doesn't actually let you jump in it. It's so dumb. We've already won this one. Didn't even need that power armor upgrade in the middle. That second level is actually kind of trash. It's easy. Dude, now that I think about it, these levels are really just easy. Uh, I was gonna try climbing up that ladder. I probably should have climbed down. Yeah, 
We need to grab that power armor from him. I actually think we can do this. You can't go down a ladder with power armor on. See, like, that's the kind of shit that I don't like about power armor. In this game, at least. And it's Luke. So, that was uh, Red Menace for you all. I hope you liked that one. Now, we're on to Pitfall. Based on the hit game Pitfall, oh no, based on the hit game Pitfall, you have to run around and collect bobbleheads. Ah, okay. So I've, I've, I've kind of forgotten how to play some of these. I, I know that uh, using these vaults skips past screens, but I also just saw there, you're kind of able to cheese it. Oh, goddamn. I'm gonna die on my first try. Oh my god, you're an asshole. Dude, this game's really cool though. I've never beaten it. Oh yeah, hazards from like rolling hazards or like moving hazards from last rounds, they'll come back. They always do. Sometimes bobbleheads can be underneath the map in the vault sections which you'll then need to find ways underneath the vault. Oh my god. Don't hit me. Don't hit me like, some of these sections lead on forever. And you just can't get away from it. Um, was there a bobblehead down there uh, anywhere? There's doors here that you can't get past. No. It would have been a lot safer for me to just go this way, huh? That's all that's telling me. Get oh my god! <laughs> I was at the top of the ladder! We're gonna get our life back anyways. Here we go, we're even increasing our life now. We're not gonna get a perfect score because we did take a hit of damage. I hope no fucking wasp comes in here. Oh. How many? Three? I 
honestly keep thinking a bee will approach at some point. There we go. Okay, did you see that, guys? We've actually almost won. We're gonna find that last one. We have to. Oh, fuck. I'm actually gonna go down. Oh my god! You fucking asshole. <laughs> this will be the first time I've ever beaten this game, too. Ah, oh, you ass! And we've done it. We've actually done it. We don't get a perfect life score because we took three hits a day. I think everyone knows what this is. It's Space Invaders. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot that you could just rapid fire. Get that guy! Oh my god. I'm actually gonna try saving him. Over there. Glass the oh, you stop that. Oh my god, I'm never gonna be able to save him. Oh, I'm dead, huh? <laughs> you fight me. <laughs> Very threatening alien race, huh? God, I'm never gonna get that. Oh fuck, I have to kill these guys. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I was way too focused on the other side. Okay, I now know what I have to do to, if I want to do this. Oh my god, I'm gonna use the D-pad. Oh, 
Uh, I've also got to account for curve. into that. Damn! I didn't mean to quit the game! <laughs> God damn it. There's a vertebrate over over top of me right now. Oh my god, I wasn't looking. I think one of the better things to do is always kind of be shooting. Just kind of always be in the zone. So no matter what, I kind of want to get That's one whole side I don't have to worry about now, too. Oh, yeah. Master. This bitch is really that thirsty. Hmm. This game's actually not that bad. It reminds me of something like Game & Watch, like... You can also just like swap through between those two. Never got into this part. Got it! <laughs> wow. Got the big pitcher on my hip. The big pitcher on his hip, holy shit.
got that shit. We'll go to level 10 before we're done. This doesn't really, like, negate me at all. Oh god, I accidentally- No! I've let everyone down. Holy shit. Okay, smaller ones actually do have more time. Fuck out of my bar! Jesus. We've got new Coca Cola game games to be playing. Dude, it's always the same one every time. Always in like near the same spot every time, too. God. It's the fact that I'd have to be super quick with grabbing shit. I had just sabotaged myself by throwing a glass with nobody there. Well, that was nu Nuka Tapper. I don't know if there's an end to it, but that was cool. That was cool. That was, that was fun. That was very fun. I didn't want to keep playing. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and uh, like I said earlier, if you want to see me play any other games such as Space Lad or Grognak and Ruby Runes, I don't mind. I would play those, and I would probably try to play those through until the end. If you guys want to see those, let me know, like the video, and uh, peace.